his computer. Anyways, it's 8.30, um, towards 8.40 now. I just woke up. I don't think I got a good sleep. I think it has something to do with the vape. Is waking up, and typically you would wake up and just fall back asleep. You wouldn't even know it. Um, wake up, reach for the vape. Nicotine doesn't help either. I don't feel well rested. It's nothing new, but today it's kind of getting to me. Not much motivation, but because of the work I did the previous, well, since Monday, it's like Thursday now. Um, if I wanted to be lazy, I could so be lazy. Um, but I'm just going to reduce my workload for this morning. I still want to have breakfast. I have trash to take out, and instead of going inline skating this morning, I think I'm going to uh, grab bus fare, get some shopping done. I want to get a little MP3 player or something along the lines of that, and, and just go. Anyways, um, the place has been cleaned to the point in which I feel satisfied, uh, not not a feeling, it's that the work that still needs to be done to function here is minimal. This is like 5 minutes of washing dishes, 10 minutes to cook breakfast, and just super small stuff here and there. Oh yeah, it, it, I don't feel... All that great, but I, I put the work in, so even though I don't feel all that good, I should, it should be fine. It, it, I won't be sent into a spiral compared to if this place were an absolute mess. It was good. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Feels like progress still, and yeah, even more so because I feel like shit. Yeah, I feel like shit. Everything's fine. It's like I I have room, and I have room to feel like shit, and it it's, it feels good. Like just going through my emotional cycles just naturally. I can, it doesn't matter that I feel like shit. My life is still kind of humming along. This is one of the main takeaways from one of my psychologists way back in the day. And he said, uh, I remember this direct quote, weather the emotional storm. And that's kind of been my approach this whole time. Well, not whole time, but is when the going's good, you get going and you get the good. When the going's bad, hopefully you have done enough work where you can effectively work through the bad periods in life. It's, you know, a constant back and forth between putting in the work to invest in yourself and taking out that investment so you can comfort yourself. So work, adding, then comfort, subtracting, and hopefully you work more than, and gain more than you subtract. Either way, um, I still feel like I'm headed in a good direction, a better direction. Uh, even with my, you know, my quote, failures, there's still learning experiences. It sets me off better or well more learned when I try what I failed at again.
different approaches, adaptations, whatnot. So, I feel like shit, but I feel good too. Even, especially around the idea that I feel like shit, because I feel like shit, and it's fine. And then there's the difference between feeling like shit and then feeling like shit. Cumulative subtraction. Until you have nothing left. Those are rough days. Rough times. It's just been a long time in states like that where it's just subtractive, subtractive for months on end. It's progress, yeah. It's just... I feel like shit. And my mind is racing for... reasons. And yeah, I'm not saying there isn't any reason. I'm just saying... Ugh. Oh, the sky isn't falling used to be uh, when it felt like this it was immediate like concern but as for the immediate future right here right now i don't feel concerned i feel confident still breakfast Garbages. Those are my two goals for today. And probably lunch and dinner. Um, I had some food prep work last night. I have, uh, I was kind of stupid. Threw, uh, like a whole bunch of meat into the freezer. Couldn't really... Um, I, when I took it out, I figured I had to do something with all of it, because if I let it unfreeze and then froze the other stuff, it would, uh, kind of ruin it. Ended up just chopping it all up as a block, ice block of meat, uh, put it back in the freezer before it unthawed, so now it's like little, little, Chunks I can just take out, throw up. Heck, I might have some of that. It's like, like two seconds. Take, take the lid off. Get some. Put it back. Have some oats. Probably less peanuts and trail mix and all that other stuff. I got some yogurt. I'm not too sure how bacon and yogurt goes, but... <laughs> yeah, shit. I got the piano, been kind of putting it off a bunch. I still play and I still kind of screw around, but I've never actually worked at the piano. It's always been playing. I do want to get into that. Um, it would be seven, yeah, seven years. I started when I was 18 and considering I'm, I'm proud of it. Got the violin <laughs> that I haven't touched in ages. I fuck the the piano is enough. Maybe I should just put on some music theory videos and call it studying as I listen to it in the background as I clean or do whatever. I found I went to sport to check the other day and I got a new puck. The guy grabbed it out of the back for me, and, uh... This one shouldn't break when I take wrist shots with it, but it isn't as fun. I kinda wanna see what I can do to make it better, but... It's just... Yeah, it's something new, something exciting. 
I just don't want to get hip protectors because my hip is just an absolute mess and I refuse to stop poking at it. I'm so bad with that ever since I was a kid. I might need to get a new band-aid on it just for the idea to keep my fingers away from it. The fucking OCD, man. Is what they won't talk about. Everybody says, like, oh, I'm such a neat freak. Oh my god, my OCD. They don't realize that it can also include ripping holes in your skin since, like, the age you were a very young child. Well, There's so many possibilities. So many things I can do. Every single day. And... I got so stressed trying to fulfill all of this time. But today... Maybe my goal is... Just do nothing. Or do minimal. Don't try to shove so much into one day, and it's not like if when I do that, I am actually successful. It's like 90% skating, and then, like, maybe I get one or two things done. Uh, it's mostly just skating anyways, but... Um... Maybe it's time to make some large changes in my life. Or time to start thinking about it again. Because, yeah, things are going well. And there's a gradual increase. Um, it's linear. A linear increase. And... If you're... Covering distance linearly you're just falling into Newton's laws um it's just momentum carrying you I want to be adding momentum I don't want just velocity I want acceleration but these days, I feel like just momentum is good enough. That when I can, I'll give it a little push, an impulse, increase velocity, acceleration. But I don't need to be accelerating all the time. But, um, stuff like cleaning, eating, um, I'll get that shit sorted, where it's no longer work, it's just habit, but I want to push into other areas of life where it's just considered work versus habit, anyways, this is getting on to like 13 plus minutes, rambling, 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 what else is new? I don't think work is necessarily the right thing to go for. To say, I want to work more, I want to work more, but I try to work well, way too hard. It's just, it's into my skates. And as much as skating is a good coping mechanism, escape mechanism, I come back to this home and... For all the work I put into my skates, all the distance I traveled, displacement is nada. Right back home. And I don't even call skating work. I call it habit that I'm trying to break. Because, I don't know. That's what I want, the more additive 
typical work in my life to be like. Where I don't want it to be work. I want to live a healthy life just out of habit. It'll take some work to get there, sure, but... It's like when you're trying to... No, I'm not getting sidetracked on an analogy for a... On an analogy for all this, um... Bullshit tangents, uh... Nothing but tangents. Well, it's been a relatively hard week, and I do have something I need to get done later tomorrow. Dare I might say even later today. But I won't push myself, that's not a, not a goal. Go back to open mic, start trying shit, you know? It's just the travel. <laughs> that would be hilarious, actually. It's just, fuck. I got an idea. I might do something with it, but I'll see. What the hell? <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, um, minimal work today. Uh, just my, my goal is to be a lazy bum because I fucking deserve it. Hey. And few goals here and there, keep up the momentum. And if I feel like it towards the end of the day, I'll try to push for something. But it isn't a goal. I'm not making it a goal. I don't want to set up my goals where I don't know I will achieve them. The only types of goals that I actually want to set are ones that I'm almost certain to achieve. But tomorrow, I have I have to get back on the train, get working again. Um... I feel good. I feel like shit. Felt like shit, but I acknowledged I felt like shit, and also that despite it, I'm okay. A life isn't burning. Sky isn't falling. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Could you imagine? The sky is now 100 kilometers up. The Earth's atmosphere, which is typically a, a fluid of air surrounding the Earth, hugging the ground, is lifted up 100 kilometers. So the sphere of air is now like um, a film, 100 kilometer thick film of air, 100 kilometers up where between the Earth and the Earth's atmosphere is vacuum. And then the sky is literally falling. What the hell would that do? Oh my god, I have to Google this. How, how heavy is the Earth's atmosphere? Is the ocean part of the atmosphere? Because air and water are two types of fluid. Atmosphere of Earth. Oh, God. Total mass of Earth's atmosphere. So, uh, at the moment, I think it's like 20 PSI at, ground, at sea level. I have no idea. Um. Oh, God. Five quadrillion tons of air falling to 
the ground. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh. Why do I think about s such stupid questions so in depth? A literal situation in which the sky is falling. You have to lift up the sky and drop it. What would happen when it hit the ground? Five quadrillion tons just crushing in on Earth? I don't know. Probably nothing would happen to the Earth itself. Maybe earthquakes? I don't know. Earthquakes, probably. Tectonic plates are not that significant compared to the overall mass of the Earth, let alone the atmosphere, but... To the stuff on the surface of the Earth, never mind that the vacuum that we would be suspended in as the sky falls. Not that the sky hitting the surface of the Earth is actually going to be much better than a vacuum. Compression of the air, superheating it, like what? Yeah, I think... The physical effects of the crushing? I don't think air falling is going to crush you like a brick on top of your head, but... The, the pressure differential? Your body's used to the vacuum? And then it just gets crushed by an atmosphere? If anything, the air would get compressed and superheated. Super, yeah, superheated. <laughs> Holy shit, the momentum. Oh god, I'm done. No, I'm not dragging you guys along with this stupid line of thought. But it's gonna be on my mind for the rest of the day, trying to figure out how to figure the fuck I'm gonna 